This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The fifth word was a word of redemption. Matthew 27, 46 says that about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now Jesus cries this out. He's just begun this conversation and with a longing for a restoration for intimacy with God. And suddenly there's this, this sudden sense that he is being separated from God. And he feels like he's being rejected. There is that sense. It wasn't that God was rejecting him, but rather that God was heaping the sin of the world, your sin, on him. And he felt like he was being forsaken. Remember that some 12 to 15 hours before, Jesus had said to his disciples that in this hour of trial of his, that they would all desert him. And Peter, of course, said, oh, no, I'll never do that. But he did. Do you remember what Jesus said at that point? It's in John 16, verse 32. Behold, the hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered each to his own home and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. But now, now as Jesus would bear the sin of the world alone, literally alone, he would be separated from God. He who was made sin for you was feeling the punishment of the sinner. He was feeling the punishment that you deserve for your sin. You're the one who deserves to be separated from God for your sin. In fact, your sin does separate you from God. But it was Jesus who was enduring that on the cross, a punishment for your sinfulness, a sinner separated from God. Not that Jesus was the sinner. He took on the sin of the sinner. But he took that sin and became separated from God. There is no greater picture of what sin does than what happened to Jesus on the cross. There is no greater picture of what sin does than what happened to Jesus on the cross. Sin separates one from God. Isaiah 59, 2 says it this way, Your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden His face from you so that He does not hear. Can you imagine the position that Jesus, the Son, was in? He had enjoyed this intimacy with the Father for years, for eternity past, and all of a sudden, his sin, the sins that had been heaped on him cut him off so that God wouldn't even hear it. Seemed. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.